Well, that's the constable, all right. But what in God's will is he doing over here? You really have no idea, Mr. Ashton, Mr. A Why, you miserable brigand. Now, you just stay where you are, and hold your peace. I'm sorry to do this to you, Captain John, but them men out there, they mean us harm. And I can't let them come in here. You understand? Please, sir. Don't hurt my son. Ma'am, that is not my desire. And then you both, you both keep your temper and do as you're asked. And this will be all be over soon. I'll give you my word. I knew you were a villain the moment I laid eyes on you. I promised I'd slit you from here to we are. By God, that's what I'll do. John, no. Stay back. Stay back. Drop that blade of the boy dies. Mother! I don't want to do it, but I will if you force me to. You haven't got the belly for it. I've been worse than my time. So have you. Please, sir. Who does he say? He your wife, sir. She's got an head on her. on the table. We get back to the door. You take your seat, Mrs. Lloyd. Rebecca, you won't walk away from this. Now, you, you don't see this. Your ears are no thing. So you just send them on their way. And make them believe it, or the boy dies first. I'll watch you hang slow. Morning, Henry. John. Good day to you, sir. Sir. Of whom do I have the pleasure? I am the most high sheriff of the Council of State, charged with the suppressing of atheistical, blasphemous, and execrable opinions derogatory to the honor of God and destructive to humane society, whether they be expressed through horrid preach or damnable practice so that God may be truly glorified and all might in well-doing be encouraged. Sir, I... Who are it? Sire. Surprised to see you over this way, Henry. I'm more than a little surprised myself, John. Mom. It is upside down. It is. All seems to be in order. Of course. So to the matter at hand. We are in pursuit of a pair of licentious heretics, a young man and a young woman, who did partake in profane display this Saturday past at a tavern less than five miles from this ground. What he means to say is there was a full-blown ranting orgy at the Optinale House. <laughs> no depravity or deceit is beneath a man in pursuit of coin or carnal appetite. This has been my finding. Well, they should have closed that den of iniquity years ago, didn't I tell you, Cousin Henry? Aye, that you did, John. Mm -hmm. This is what it's come to. Ranting orgy, you say? Blasphemous oaths and execrations. Drunkenness, licentiousness, swearing and sodomy. Unmarried men and harlots fornicating in full public view. Well, I'm stunned. It's them high attainers. They preach that good is evil and evil is good. I mean, I've heard tell of such a thing in London, but I never did that think in our own fair county. It is but a fortune that these men came upon the scene and put them to rout when they did. Well, what can I say? I'm shocked. But let us hasten to the cusp of this distasteful dialogue. In following these rotten escapees, we did discover footprints. Footprints that led us from that horrid alehouse into your very property. What say thee to this, Captain Lyon? Sir, you must be mistaken. 
I haven't seen or heard a thing. It's just me and Fanny and the boy getting ready for the winter. It's a simple life we live here on Black Hill Farm. Nevertheless, I'd be most obliged if we might take a look inside, eh? Sir, I've given you my answer. No man comes on my land without my sanction. And I'll thank thee to take me at my word. <laughs> 